how to build your business expertise so you can be successful as an expert in business. The big mistake that a lot of experts make is that they relate to their expertise as if it's some data on their computer. And all they have to do is press a button to retrieve it. That might work in some situations, but it won't work in all. Plus, over time, your information, your expertise, your experience is going to decay. It's going to decline in value. Instead, you want to focus on growing and adding more value to your, your clients. The more value you can add, the more money you can make, the better projects you get, the more inspiring clients you'll get to work with, and most of all, the more successful you will be. And the key to adding more value starts with your business expertise. In this video, I'll share with you my top three ways that you can build your business expertise so you can be more successful as an expert in business. I'm Jeff McDonald, the Ideas Architect, and I've been helping business experts be more successful for the past 15 years. I usually work with speakers, coaches, and trainers, and I help them turn what they know into something valuable for their clients, something they're willing to pay good dollars for. And the key to this is building a unique package, a powerful package of intellectual property that is true to you. And this is what I provide over at Anywhere Experts, where we have a tribe of people coming together to help each other earn money from what they know from anywhere. Today I'll share the three main ways you can build your business expertise, and they apply for beginners as well as seasoned pros. Plus, they also apply if you're working in your own business or in someone else's business. And make sure you stick around to the end where I'll tell you which of these three strategies you need to apply to build your business expertise in the next 30 to 90 days. One of the best ways to learn almost anything is to do it with other people. That's why you'll get more value out of this video if you share it with your colleagues and discuss how you can apply it. Now let's dive into our big idea for today. Three ways that you can build your business expertise in the next 90 days. Our first way to build your business expertise is to start with you. What do you know? And that means starting with the basic question, who are you? If you don't know who you are, then it becomes very difficult for you to tell others who you are such that they'd want to employ you as their business expert. Our first strategy for building your business expertise is to know thyself. And this comes from Socrates and the ancient Greeks. And my big tip for getting to know yourself is to do some psychometric or psychological tests so you can know how you see the world, what your preferences are, and the way you think about things. My personal favorite is the Strength Finders tool, because ultimately, this is what your clients are going to pay you for. They're going to pay you to do something that you, they can't do for themselves. And your way to stand out in the marketplace is to showcase what you do that others can't do. Plus, what's really good about the Strength Finders test, they'll show you how to speak about what you're good at. So you need to know what you're good at but you also need to be able to talk about it in a way that other people can go, ah, I need that. There's two strength finder tests that I recommend. The first one is the Gallup find strength finders tool. I found this to be the best one. And for a small fee of 50 to $100, you'll get a comprehensive look at who you are and how you can use your strengths. The second one is the VIA character strength test. This one's for free, very similar, just uses some different ca categories. So pick one of them, Go and do the test, find out what your superpowers are. My second big tip is a rather obvious one, but a lot of people don't do it. Go and ask your clients and your colleagues this simple question, what am I good at? And ideally, ask a wide range of people who know you from a wide range of situations so that you can get the widest perspective on what your superpower is. To check if you need to build your business expertise in this area, let's do a quick rating. And the first question is, how well do you know yourself? Give yourself a zero if you don't know who you are, and give yourself a five if you're really clear who you are and what your strengths are. The second question you want to ask yourself and rate yourself on is, how good are you at telling other people about your ex business expertise? Give yourself a zero rate rating if you fluff your lines all day long, 
and give yourself a five if you reckon you've got this down smoothly. Our second way to build our business expertise is to grow thyself. Your business experience and your business expertise is like a garden. If you tend it and you mulch it and you grow the soil and you can grow it into a wonderful garden. But if you don't look after it, if you don't prune it, if you don't pull out the weeds, it's going to turn into a mess very quickly and it's not going to be worth a lot to your clients. You need to remember that what you know today may not be worthwhile, useful or even relevant tomorrow as new technologies, new situations and new players in the marketplace compete for the same clients. So you do have to grow your business expertise to stay relevant in today's marketplace. The first part of this is what to learn. What is the thing that you could learn today that would make the biggest difference for your clients? Notice I didn't say the thing that you want to learn. Address this from the client's perspective. What is the number one thing you could learn today that would make the biggest difference to your clients? You need to work out what you need to learn and your best way to learn it. And the simplest action here is to come up with some learning project to say, I'm going to learn this or I'm going to teach this. And I'd encourage you to pause this video right now and write down a list of the things that you could learn and your best way to learn them. And remember, ultimately it's about crafting intellectual property that is valuable for your clients. Our third way to build your business expertise is to claim thyself. Your expertise is not a given. Unless you claim your territory, you won't show up as having that expertise. I was one of the early adopters of producing webinars to attract people to my business 15 years ago. And I had a number of people who attended my webinars saying, hey, you're really good at that. You should sell and teach people how to make sales via webinars. And I'm like, no, I don't want to claim that one. I might be good at it, but my expertise is actually helping people with their intellectual property. I merely use webinars to get in front of an audience. So be clear about what expertise you want to claim. Is it the one that drives you or is it the one that's valuable for your clients or is it the one that's both of those together? Some point you're going to have to put an offer to a client to say, I can help you with this. And until you do that, you won't be successful as an expert in business. To find out if you need to claim your expertise, there's three places you might be. The first one is, am I claiming my expertise? Do I need to step up and actually stake my, sell, my put my stake in the sand and say, I'm good at this? Or at you, you might be at the other end of the, the spectrum and you actually claim the wrong expertise. It might be something you're not so good at, something you're not that interested in, or something that other people are way better at than you. And the happy third place is where you've claimed your expertise and you know enough to add value to your clients. If you do need to make a bigger claim for your expertise, I'd suggest sitting down with a business coach, someone who's independent of you that can actually get to the root cause of why you're not claiming it. And it will come down to two things. You either don't have the confidence and the belief in yourself, or you actually don't know what you're talking about. And make sure you stick around to the end where I'll tell you which of these three strategies you need to apply to best grow your business expertise in the next 30 to 60 days. Let's wrap up what we've covered here. There are three ways you can grow your business expertise to help you be more successful as an expert in business. The first way to build your business expertise is to know thyself. And my two tips for doing this are to do some psychometric tests like a strength finder tool. And my second one is to go and talk to your colleagues and possibly your clients and ask them, what are you good at? The tricky part of all this is don't presume because you do something automatically, it's not valuable to other people. That's often where your greatest strength lies is in something that you do without even thinking about it. And you might be surprised that your colleagues and clients admire something you do that you don't put any value on it. The second way to build your business expertise is to grow thyself. The two approaches here are either to learn something new from someone who knows more than you, or to go and teach what you already know so you can develop it and refine it further. Both of those strategies will help you add more value to your clients in the future.
The third way to build your business expertise is to claim thyself. At some point, you need to have the strength and the confidence and the conviction to say, I'm good at this. And here's the bonus tip. Which one of these strategies should you be adopting to make the biggest impact on your business expertise in the next 30, 60, 90 days? If you were just starting out in business, I'd suggest you start with know thyself. Go and do some psychometric tests, go and ask some colleagues and clients and find out what you're really good at. If you already have some expertise and you've been in business for a while and you're doing okay, then I'd encourage you to take on the second business expertise approach, and that's to grow yourself. Either go out there and learn something new or go out there and teach something you already know. And if you've been in business for a while and you're not cutting through, you're not getting the results that you want, or you're not getting the recognition or the clients you think you deserve, then there's a good chance you're not claiming your territory. Either you're claiming not strongly enough or you're claiming the wrong territory. Have a look at that one if that fits for you. Given you've watched this whole video to the end, I'll bet you'll be interested in the other videos in this series. This is the second video in a series on how to be successful as an expert in business. We have one video for each of the three business growth strategies, plus they all include some actions that you can take today. We'll put the links to those videos in the description down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video where we'll talk about how to translate what you know into something that your clients really want. See you then. Bye.